Hey guys, so a client of mine sent me this photo and said she wanted these made for a event. So let's get started and see how this turns out. All right, so I'm just gonna be starting with three cups of sugar, some water, and one cup of Cairo syrup. And half a cup of water. Sorry, I was trying to remember. So we're just gonna mix this all together and keep mixing it, keep mixing until it's thoroughly mixed all together to where it's well combined. Then we're going to hear the bubbles and we're going to see our sugar and water and Cairo syrup come together just like this. Now our candy thermometer says that it's 240 degrees. We want this to get to 300 degrees to where it's hard cracked. So we're just going to let this boil until it gets to 300 degrees, until it gets too hard cracked. So you see the bubbles? Don't they look so beautiful? Yes, they look so good. But as the candy mixture thickens and the temperature of it goes up, the bubbles will slow down and the bubbles will get thicker. Now we're at 280 degrees and it's on the soft crack but we want it to be on hard crack, you know, that hard crack, <laughs> that hard crack. So here is our apples. I already cleaned them and let them sit for 48 hours. And I'm going to start dipping them in the full coloring that I'm going to be using is white because she wanted white candy apples, as you see on the picture. Um, and this is the Wilton's white icing coloring. Oh, look at my nails. I had got them done. I put some rhinestones on them because I was trying to be like fancy. And I really want to make some candy coated pears and probably some candy coated avocados too. <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. But that would be a good video. An experiment with a candy avocado. Wow. So we're just going to take our candy thermometer off and we're going to apply our food coloring. I'm using white, but you can use whatever food coloring you like, whatever food coloring that your clients or your event or your theme is, but mine was for white. So I'm going to be using white. So we're just going to mix this all together. Do not worry if it bubbles. That's what it's supposed to do. Don't worry if it smokes. No, it's not burning. Just continue to do what you see me doing, which is mixing. So you're gonna mix this thoroughly, make sure you get all the crevices, all the creases. And if you have to apply more food coloring to get the desired color that you need, then that's totally fine. But do a taste test first, because some food colorings you can use a lot and they will taste just like food coloring and that's a blah, nasty. So I'm gonna take my candy apple, or I'm gonna take my apple, and I am going to start dipping. So I just like to go ahead and just dip mine in on each side and just let the excess drip off. And then I will wipe off the excess at the bottom. See, just like that. That way you don't get that big saucer plate or that big oversized or excess candy mixture or whatever you want to call it. It just makes it looks more presentable this way. So I'm using a silicone mat to separate my apples or to allow my apples to um, cool up, cool down. Uh, the silicone mat is way easier. That way you don't have to do the whole wax paper and the spray, the cooking spray and all of that stuff. The silicone mat just allows you just to go ahead and stick them on there and just pretty much let them cool and you could just take them off. Now my apples look really good. They look really good. You see that 10 up there? You see that 10? Yes, boomerang. So I'm not going to show you the whole video of what I did because I didn't record it because my lighting wasn't too good. But now I'm just using fondant in the silicone mold to do the baby feet for um, the candy apples. And the theme is Toy Story. So I'm just doing the feet for the candy apples and... Here's one, and then I'm going to take out the next one. They look so cute. They look so cute. And I really hated, hated working with fondant. 
until I figured out how to use it. But these are the ending results for the candy apples. I think they came out pretty good for my first time with using fondant. First time using fondant with candy apples and I've used fondant before and it never worked out good enough for me. But yeah. So thank you guys for watching and please tune into my next video. Thank you. I love you guys.